my friend, my friend, today we're going to be playing page 333, zip, baby, doo, da, in the key of, hmm, let's see, one sharp, it's F sharp, so we're in the key of G. How do we know that? C major, no sharps, no flats, zero, none, not a one. Do we say C, D, E, e sharp? No, we don't. We say C, D, E. So when we go through the, the idea of seeing G major, we're going to play a, a G major. We're going to then go to a A minor. When we take that same note, scoot it up a whole step and bar that second fret, B-A-double-R-E, we get a, a B minor. Yeah, you got it. Uh, we can go up a half step and then play what looks like an A major shape for the C major, or we can just play the old standard uh, C major here. Our next note is going to be a D major, which means we're going to give a big old flat bar here. I know there are still people playing it like this. If you are, no problem. That just means you only have one finger for awesomeness. If you have just one finger, that means you got three fingers for awesomeness. So the idea is when we go past that D major, we can either go to this E minor, which is based off of the D minor shape, just scooched up the same way we did the B minor, or you can play it this way, which is wonderful. And then I'll blow your mind by showing you how to play a G major with the E, which makes a G6, which gives you an E minor tonality. I mean, if I get rid of this finger altogether now, altogether now, where is it? That's just an E minor in its second fingering. So the concept is your G major and E minor are super similar. They both have the same key signature, just like today's key signature. So all the notes in G major, G, A, B, C, D, F sharp diminished is going to look exactly like a D7. Two ways to play that. Boom, ba boom, bar it on up. Put your first finger down here, or second finger down on the second fret. Nice. Or what I like to do is just take the D major, get rid of the D, the C sharp, and open it up to the open C, and keep the two bookends. Boom, ba boom. Beautiful chord. So here we go. We're going to play the first chord. It's going to be in the time signature of 4-4. 4, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's how we count, meaning there are four notes per measure, and the quarter note is going to get that beat. So what I like to do, if you can hear me, I'm just going to start beating my foot in that quarter note. I might taper off just a little bit so it's not so loud, but you should beat your foot at home. Here we go. 1, 2, only on the downstrokes with the fingernails. Zip. Here comes the C. Zippity. Go back to the G. A. Back to the C. Back to the G. Here comes an A7. Only one finger on that C at the C sharp. Boom! Right back to that D7 that we were talking about. Now you can either bar it up and go, but I really like the open note. And here's the here's the rub of it. If you know how to play both of these chords, you can do something like Zippy Do What a wonderful day. Do both of them. Use them in the space of the what what note value they have. It sounds really cool. Or the other way around. It does something to the ear when using two different inversions. All right. So when we go through the process of seeing after that, it goes all the way through this first verse. So it says, "Plenty of sunshine coming my way." Zip it and you da. Here's our E minor. So rather than switching to an E minor, which is a whole big old finger movement, because there is a G major, E minor. A minor, and then a D7. That's a lot of finger moving. What we can do is play zippity doo da G6, has that E minor in there. And then when we have that next chord, A minor's inversion is right here, and it looks like this. If we follow this process, watch me now. That would be an F sharp minor or a D major seven if you're looking at it and harmonically but when we take this and move it we usually play this like this and you know the shape it looks like a, a G7 or a B diminished boom bada boom we just move it horizontally and then we remove a finger put a finger plop a finger add a finger that means we're just taking the same shape and just moving it with our fingers up and barring or putting in the one note that was not present now where's that one note oh it's the a string all the way away from your nose for this one. So when we do this, that becomes an A minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor, ba, da, 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 and it keeps on going and going and going. I hope you enjoyed that one too. I really enjoyed learning that one as well. And just because we're on the subject, if you had this backward shape here that we already defined we know how to play, maybe you could play that with that first finger and put the pinky up top on the fifth, the E. Yeah! So. When we go through this, the next thing we're going to see is how to go zippity doo da, zippity a.
Now it's a lot of finger movement, so go slow. It's gonna say, uh, it's gonna go to a, to another little groove where it has this um, um, Mr. Bluebird on my Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna play back and forth between the G major, D7, A7, A7 to the D7. Stop. And then it goes all the way back because we see that it says DS fine. So which means we're going to go back to the fine or the fine. We're going to find ourselves going all the way back. And the DS means it's the one that has a little S and a little slash through with the two itty bitty dots. We're going to go all the way. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're at the ninth measure. We're going to rock it out with another G major. It's going to say zippity doo da, zippity day, wonderful feeling, wonderful then it's going to do the same, um, that same verse where it says, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. What happens is as soon as we have that last verse, it's going to end right there before the verse happens. So we're going to go all the way through the song. Follow along with me. Have fun with these chords. I hope you do. One, two, one, two, three, four. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It's the truth, it's our truth. Everything's so satisfactory. Oh, zippity doo da, zippity day. Wonderful feeling, wonderful day. You can do this as many times as you want. In fact, I would even encourage you to make up your own lyrics and have fun. I did. Aloha.